welcome back today I wanted to introduce to you my mother this is Betty Louise Russell she was born in January of 1943 she is one of four children um, she's this is her senior picture she's very beautiful I believe that she's the most beautiful woman in the world um, but here's proof she's very beautiful and uh, she was born to Sydney Sylvester I believe Sydney Sylvester Russell and Li uh, Elizabeth Lillian Ford Russell um, in 1943 like I said and they, she was born in, I believe, Richmond, California, raised in San Leandro on the hill. They call Van Avenue the hill. Um, it was right there by Fairmont Elementary. Um, it's at the foot of the hill. And the hill is pretty much straight to the top. And, I mean, just kind of like, I don't know, maybe if, I mean, it was pretty steep. And... I mean, it was only had houses on one side because the other side um, was another hill that went down and at the bottom of the hill there was a um, juvenile detention center at the time while I was growing up. And at the top of the hill was fenced off and there was a graveyard up there. And her house was three houses down from the graveyard at the top of the hill. And she told us stories about how the house that they had was actually somewhere down in the valley or down below and it was going to be torn down for whatever reason to make room for a highway, I don't know, whatever. But her dad went and got it and brought it up the hill and set it down. He basically got it for free, I think. And that's the house that they, they were raised up in. And let me tell you, the steepness of this hill made pogo sticking just a horrendous activity. <laughs> you could not poke a stick on this hill because as soon as you took two jumps, you'd fall flat on your face for gravity. Playing ball on this hill, kickball or anything like that was a nightmare because no one wanted to be at the bottom, right? Because if they missed the ball, they had to run all the way down to the bottom of the hill to get the ball. And you, I never ran so fast uh, <laughs> to catch up with that ball. And uh, so this is my mom. And she was uh, beautiful in high school. Here's another photo of her. This is another image of her in her cap and gown. And I believe this is her senior prom. She's very beautiful. I just can't get over how pretty my mom was. I miss her so much. I don't know who this gentleman is here. Don't know who he is. Um, but I can tell you that she had three brothers. Philip was the oldest, uh, recently passed away this year um, in September. Um, Ray is the next oldest. He's in Washington right now. And Bobby passed away a long time ago. Um, he was the youngest. And so, of course, you have to imagine my mom got away with everything because <laughs> she was the only girl. And uh, so um, then uh, she has all kinds of stories to tell about living on that hill. If anybody out there who's listening to this knows what hill I'm talking about, Van Avenue in San Leandro, California. If you knew my mom, you please reach out and let me know some of your memories about her. Um, she met this man right here. Oh, I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, you could see that. That's my dad. <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, I, you know, if I'd have known him then, I think I might have dated him. So I don't know who that guy in the, in the, I don't know who this guy in the prom is right here, but he lost out to this guy. And 
one thing leads to another, right? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. They get married. That's my dad, Jimmy Lewis Russell. Yes, my parents had the same last name, but he's from Kentucky and she's from California. Her family was actually o uh, Okies. They came over from um, o Oklahoma. They were they were well-to-do, very well-to-do family. They lost everything in the Dust Bowl. They they migrated to California. Um, Elizabeth Lillian's half sister Marie um, and her husband opened up the very first post office general store in Northern California. There was actually an article in the paper about her when she passed away about the store. And I can remember seeing receipts um, from the store of um, people buying food on credit during the Depression. And of course, as you can imagine, they never ever, they never ever required anybody to pay back those, those bills that they accrued um, during those very difficult times. And my, my grandmother, Elizabeth, she was working during the Depression, so she was able to bring food home and she fed many, many people. Um, and I remember one time she said the, the family had uh, Thanksgiving dinner on the table. Everything was ready. The turkey was all set. It was on the table. Everybody was getting ready to gather to eat dinner. And um, somebody, one of his, one of her brothers, shot a BB gun and shattered the light above the table, and glass went everywhere. <laughs> she, she's told us that story several times, but I can't remember if it was Ray or Bobby or who. I don't know. I can't remember that. But um, this is their a picture of their wedding day. That was in August fifth. I'm not sure what year. Um, I just can't imagine a more beautiful woman. I just, my dad was so lucky to have her. And of course, as will happen, the babies come. Here I am. That's me. That's Tina. Tina was born in Hawaii, 1964, if I'm not mistaken. And then Anna, right here. She was born in, um, I believe, Oakland, California. Um, and I was born in Pensacola, Florida, 1967. And I have to say, it's a lovely, beautiful family. Aren't we just gorgeous kids? And uh, my mom, let me tell you about my mom. She was in once once she was invited to um her and a girlfriend were invited to a uh Elvis Presley Elvis Presley birthday party, I think. And my mom declined because she was either dating or married to my dad at the time and she felt like it would be very disloyal to him if she went. And that should tell you something about my mom's character. She was very loyal. I think I get my sense of loyalty from her. And uh, also a claim to fame is her mom, Elizabeth. She ran around in the Hank Williams crowd. Um, when my mom was little, she was babysat by Buck Owens, and Grandma used to describe him as a beanpole with a guitar on his back. And of course, he's got. He went on to fame on Hee Haw with Roy Clark. And uh, it was either Hank Williams or what was that other guy's name? Merle Haggard um, asked my grandmother, Elizabeth, to marry him. I'm not sure which one it was. I can't remember. But it was one of the two. And she said no. And I'm like, why? Because he was an alcoholic. And I'm like... <laughs> Sidney Sylvester was an alcoholic. At least Hank Williams or Merle Haggard made money with their songs. I mean, they're both alcoholics. Anyway, why my grandpa, my mom does not speak a lot about my grandpa. She, she just never talked about him. Um, but the rumor in our family is that he was not a very good person. Um, she, of course, because of how 
how pretty she was. Maybe it's because of that, or maybe just, I don't know. But my dad, my grandpa, um, didn't treat her very good. Um, made some inappropriate advances, I think, probably. And for that, she, I think I only, I can remember meeting my grandpa just one time. She brought us to where he was living. Um, it was just a little room on the second floor of something, probably above Aunt um, Marie's store. I don't know, maybe. But I remember, I was little. I was probably this age here, maybe a little older, right here. Um, and we walked in, and I, I, you know, I saw him sitting there on the bed, and I think I sat on his lap for a second or two, or something like that. And it wasn't long. We left. Um, I think she just wanted Grandpa to see his grandbabies. Um, but that's the only time I ever met him. I know he died of alcoholism. And my grandma Elizabeth Lillian, she lived a good long life. But unfortunately, she passed away from um, emphysema. She emphysema, emphysema from smoking. She she died. Uh, you know, was, I can remember being in the living room with my siblings and watching TV cartoons or something. And I remember the ambulance people, the paramedics coming in with the bed, going into the back room, getting her, and leaving with her. And I had no idea what that meant, how what how serious that was, and that was the last time I ever saw her alive. Um, next thing I know, we're going to her funeral. And that was just, it was sad. Um, they didn't talk to kids back then, you know? I mean, things happen and you're the last to know. You're the last to understand what's happening. You don't get to say goodbye. I mean, but I mean, that's the way it was back then, I guess, in the 70s. And um, after she passed away, her and her brothers sold the house, um, which, of course, is now worth millions because it's up on the hill in California. <laughs> we went back by, um, I don't know, probably about 15, 20 years ago. Um, Anna and I went back to the house and it was it was now a two-story house and the whole lot was um, cemented over the tree that she had planted in the front yard the pine tree that was right smack dab in the middle of that front yard <laughs> it had been cut down and it's gone um, but the next door neighbors were still there we got to visit with them uh, Peggy is one of the ladies names and then there and then her partner I, I can't remember her name uh, but we got to visit with them. It was nice to reminisce. And uh, there's lots of memories in that house. Um, those are, of course, memories for another time. But um, here's my mom. She did smoke. She started smoking when she was um, 13, I believe. And, you know, she regretted it. You know, it did it did take her life a little sooner than she probably would have. Um, but she took care of us kids. She loved us. She treated us well. She just wanted us to be happy. She just wanted us to get along. You know, she wasn't a perfect lady. She had she had her issues. But she wasn't vindictive. She wasn't malicious. She was kind. She was compassionate. And she did whatever she had to do to make sure us kids had food on the table. And whatever needs we had were met. And, uh, you know, I just can't fault her for that. But that's my mom. Um, in my next video, I'll do a little bit more with my dad. I don't have a lot of pictures of him, but I will introduce my dad. And then we will uh, start, I'll start sharing some memories I have from my childhood. 
and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check the like button if you if you liked it. Thank you. Bye-bye.